Hello and welcome to my review of the Kaysun X30 Mini. This is a scaled down version of the UV68D uh, which I reviewed a couple of uh, shows ago um, which you can go and check out on the channel here if you're interested. This is a, a, uh, a UHF only uh, radio which operates in the frequency range of 400 to 470 meg. Um, it has a fixed antenna and as you can see here it's got the standard Kenwood adapter in the, the side there for the headset. Rather strangely it has the USB cover but no USB connection there so maybe that's an option for a later uh, version of this radio. It has a built-in flashlight on the top there which is operated via a push button on the front of the unit. Um, it offers 16 channels of, uh, of memory storage capacity, has the standard monitor feature on the side of the unit there and the bright orange PTT button, uh, volume adjust uh, buttons on, on the, the, the front as well, uh, channel sorry, uh, adjust up and down and then volume on the dial on the top there. It's a really really sturdy well built little radio, it has a 3.6 volt 4 amp power battery, um, as you can see some of the specs on there. The, the, the 30F TSI uh, board, like I said, is, is the same board that's on the radio that I reviewed a few days ago, uh, but it's just in a different case. Although I think this one does output slightly less power. There you can see the, the, uh, the battery specs for this unit. And uh, it, it's all, all around a really nice, compact, really sturdy, really, really tough uh, little handset, this one. Uh, it comes with the standard, um, your standard affair there, the charger with a double insulated cable and the Chinese type plug on the, the back, standard belt clip and your run of the mill earpiece. Um, rather uselessly, um, the instructions were supplied for me anyway, at least in Chinese. I did use the Google Translator app to wave over the front of the uh, the instructions just to, you know, in case there's anything that I was missing. So that was quite a useful tool to use if, uh, if anyone's struggling. I also used the same app a bit later on uh, on the software. I thought I'd do a, a field strength test on this to see how it compares to a standard PMR radio. Here's the Florian that I reviewed a few shows ago, which outputs uh, with a similar sized area and a similar amount of field uh, strength there for the distance. Um, again, it's much easier to install the belt clip without the battery there, and the belt clip bulks this radio up a little, makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit wider. Uh, but uh, the, this is the software. Um, the only version I could get was in Chinese. I could not get an English version. They may well have changed this by the time this video goes out. Uh, but I, I used the app uh, on the phone to wave over all of those uh, on the screen, so I knew what was input, output, frequencies, power, and everything. That said, I couldn't actually get the software to to not put on a tone uh, over the top. I couldn't see an option to switch the tones off. So you'll see later on on the test video the actual you can see the actual tones on on the actual SDR. Um, and I'm, I'm also not sure if it was switching the radio into high power mode either. So um, I'm I'm keeping an eye on the. Uh, on the website and I'm going to email the supplier to make sure that I am I can get an English version of this software and we can actually make sure that it is running without the the tones and also that it's running in, in high power mode as well because I wasn't sure if it was um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't actually but you'll see how it performs a little bit later on in the video like I say the website shows these are 18 pounds delivered they come in different colors um, I quite like the red color it matches the other case and radio that I've got uh, but it also comes in blue, black and yellow from this website. So you can take your pick and choose whatever colour you like there. I mean, it's, uh, shipping took about two weeks from AliExpress. Pretty much um, all of the radios that I review uh, here, I buy out of my own pocket and I get them all from AliExpress. Um, mainly, I, the occasional one will come in from Banggood, um, but mainly AliExpress. They offer the widest range of radios at the, probably the best prices. So. If you are in the market for a radio, there are you might get radios slightly cheaper, maybe on Gearbest, but they haven't certainly got the wide selection that's available on AliExpress. And you also don't have you're not fixed to having to buy multiple quantities to get discounts either with AliExpress. Right with the X30 uh, Mini, location A. This is G7 LNK portable with the K Sun X30 Mini at location A, three miles. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. This is G7 
Inner Lane K Portable with the K Sun X30 Mini at location 8, 3 miles. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, we'll try getting into the local repeater with the K Sun. Uh, we're probably about 6 miles from the repeater, 7 miles, but we're kind of behind the brow of that hill over there, so we'll try it. Anyway, see how we get on. Let's turn the volume up a bit on there. This is G7LNK portable, checking access into GB3H. We look like we're in okay. A little bit of noise on receive on this. Not sure what that is. Don't get that on the other one. It's the same board in this as on uh, the X30 Plus. And that doesn't do that, so... We've got the pips. Right, we're, uh, we'll try the X30 Mini at location A. It's about six miles away, the usual test. This is G7 LNK Portal with the K Sun X30 Mini at location A, approximately six miles. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Right, what do I think of the X30 Mini? Well, another good radio from Kaysen. This is really a, a scaled down shrunk version of the UV68D, which I've just took away on holiday with me and had great fun with. Um, this is like a mini version of that, if you like. Um, it's uh, got a, a nice, it's, it's a bit chunky little radio look, but it's nice and solid. It looks like it would survive plenty of knocks and bangs. Um, a good belt clip, nice and firm there, sprung loaded with plenty of, uh, plenty of range in there. Um, a nice bright orange PTT button, you're not going to miss that. Um, it's slightly strange that they've, you know, that they've got the USB um, flap on the side of it, but they haven't actually got the USB socket in it, which is a bit of a letdown, but um, I presume that may come in the next, uh, you know, the next iteration of this radio. Um, the other thing to mention was the programming software, as you saw, it being only available in Chinese. Um, which not a major issue because I used the Google Translate app to work out what the letters were and so I could program it without any hassle anyway but I'm sure they'll be releasing an English version of the of that software at some point anyway um, this has got the little flashlight built into it which some people like other people don't um, you know it, it, it's functional it actually you know it's there's a button on the front of it you know it does the job you never know that might come in useful at some point um, fixed antenna so it's got the look of a PMR radio this really it does look like a PMR radio but it's actually got the performance of a, of a ham radio because it's definitely not 500 milliwatts this is uh, definitely packing about a watt I would say um, and certainly the, uh, the you know across the frequency range there's not a huge amount of difference I tested these at 400 and up to 470 and it was only just at the high end that the power dropped down a little bit so that's quite good um, so right across the range there in the 70 meg band uh, between 400 and 470 the power was fairly fairly consistent so that's good um, so yeah again another radio I can definitely recommend a bit more money than some of the others this one but uh, overall if you're after this form factor and you like the different colors that you can get um, overall it's a very very good radio there was one slight caveat with the software that I couldn't see anywhere where you could not turn the tones or codes off there didn't seem to be an option where you could switch those off but I should check with the supplier and I'm sure that will come in a, in a future uh, perhaps an English version of the software Right, I think that's enough rambling from me. Uh, I'm going to take off. If you've been enjoying these uh, videos, please like and subscribe. All the details are down below. Information on where to get these radios from will be in the link as well, as well as the links to the software too. Although I think with this one in particular, you might uh, benefit from contacting your supplier to get the very latest software. Right, I'm going to shoot off. If you have been, thank you ever so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. 73. And finally, before I go, sadly you heard today of the passing of the radio ham Chris Lorec, who wrote a very good book on converting commercial and military radio hardware for ham radio use. He was also a contributor to Practical Wireless magazines, amongst others. Um, very sad to hear of the passing of Chris Lorec, and my uh, thoughts go out to his friends and family.